Actor Dennis Quaid, who stars in the forthcoming biopic, Reagan, out August 30th, has expressed his admiration of former President Donald Trump ahead of the 2024 presidential election. I think I'm gonna vote for him, the 70-year-old said during a recent appearance on Piers Morgan Uncensored on May 28, adding that a vote for the presumptive GOP nominee, just makes sense. Mr. Quaid explained that he wasn't initially planning on voting for President Trump. However, he said the politicians, Hush Money, trial in Manhattan, which commenced on April 15 and is currently being deliberated on by jurors, ultimately swayed his decision in favor of the business magnate. President Trump was indicted in April of last year on 34 counts of allegedly falsifying New York business records. The case, which marks the first ever criminal trial of a former president in United States history, is just one of a handful of legal battles that President Trump is embroiled in. In total, the 77-year-old faces 88 charges across four criminal cases, all of which he has pleaded not guilty to. I see a weaponization of our justice system and, ah, uh, a challenge to our constitution, Mr. Quaid shared. Trump is the most investigated person, probably in the history of the world, and they haven't been able to really get him on anything. What is the crime? He inquired. I still can't figure it out. When asked by the British broadcaster if he likes President Trump on a personal level, the right stuff, Starr admitted that there were moments during the politician's previous presidential campaigns that he wasn't especially fond of. In the last campaign, and in 16 and, you know, and in 20, ah, uh, I found myself going, oh please don't do that, please don't say that. You know, it's like these things have come out of his mouth, he explained. However, Mr. Quaid said he liked, everything, the businessman did throughout his presidency. What he did with North Korea with Kim Jong-un, the way he defeated ISIS in three weeks. You know, people don't even remember it happened so, so fast, he shared. He stood up for us overseas and, the way he responded to China. He stands up to people, and that's what makes him a leader. Mr. Quaid continued. I tell you one true thing about him is that I really feel that he is working for the American people. That's what he's all about. And I do believe that to be true and sincere. We all live in the same country. Elsewhere in the 45 minute long conversation, Mr. Quaid gave his thoughts on President Biden, telling Mr. Morgan that he didn't feel like the president was in control of his administration. I don't feel he's at the helm, I don't feel he's there, the actor candidly shared. I feel that he says things to get votes not that he truly believes in them. And now I'm really going to get some blowback, but that's the way I feel. Although Mr. Quaid conveyed his praise for President Trump's achievements, the day after tomorrow, Starr said he wished Americans weren't so divided by politics. I hope, we can all learn to have a conversation about, you know, where we are as Americans, he said. We all live in the same country, and it doesn't have to be the end of the world whoever is elected. Mr. Morgan agreed, sharing an anecdote about some of the disagreements he and his friends would have while drinking at a local pub when he was younger. We would all have huge arguments after a few pints but the idea we'd fall out with each other over it never crossed our minds. We would just argue about what was in the news, you know, and then we'd have a few more pints and we'd go home and we'd shake each other or give each other a hug, the 59-year-old television personality explained. That ability to respect someone's opinion, even when you don't agree with them, just seems to have disappeared from this generation. It's like you either agree with me or I have to, not just ostracize you, I have to destroy you, you must be cancelled. Earlier in the conversation, Mr. Quaid offered his thoughts on the political polarization across the country, sharing his belief that people aren't as informed about pressing issues as they were 30 to 40 years ago. Our own point of view, our own beliefs, are getting hopped back at us, he said, referencing the types of information commonly shared by mainstream media and via social media platforms. We really need to, learn to work together and disagree but have a civil conversation about it because 30, 40 years ago, we had liberal Republicans, we had conservative Democrats, and there was much more across the aisle, Mr. Quaid said.